uh, satanic clothing and underwear. Okay, and I say satanic clothing, it doesn't mean a shirt with a five upside down five point pentagram on it. Okay, we we know everybody knows that that's satanic. Okay, we're just talking about clothing, forms of clothing um, that are birthed out of the marine kingdom. Okay. The purpose and the desire of these, which uh, which I have have in here, is going to be for uh, you know the purpose of lustful desires and that sort of thing. Okay, and most of that stuff is aimed and geared towards females wearing it. Why? Because that spirit of lust that works in many men causes them to be drawn to women who wear and present themselves in certain ways. Okay. Just like men, the stuff I was just talking about previously, the cars, the fancy suits. Okay, I'm going to talk about the 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 suits. It all it all all of it surrounds money and lust. Not simply the lust for money, but it's a combination. Okay, money and lust. Women who carry that certain spirit I was telling you about. They're attracted to the they're attracted to men with money. You know, don't I think we can all just be be on agreement with that. Men, they're attracted to women who look certain ways when they carry that spirit of lust on the inside of them, the spirit of perversion, whatever it may be. Okay, it's all about a worldly pleasure. Worldly pleasure. Okay. Many perfumes, right, are created from things and elements of the sea and the earth to lure men and women. Right, these are designed and created out of the marine kingdom. Right, many models, 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 not just in fashion models as in women's themselves, but models is in types of something. Okay, like a model number. Okay, many models of women's underwear and certain sexy clothing are to to seduce and distract men and lure them, you know, further into the kingdom of darkness. Okay. Per, from a personal perspective, I wouldn't see necessarily where this would be a bad thing with your with your husband, right? Between a husband and a wife, behind closed doors, a personal thing. But even for many of you, you see where even people who are Christians, they, they might not be super seductive online, but they still have pictures. They might still have pictures that that are seductive and a lot of times these women they operate with the spirit of seduction right a lot of them who 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 have a lot of these uh things who dress certain ways they're operating in a spirit of seduction they're only going to uh, attract men who carry a spirit of lust remember earlier demons of the same feather flock together they don't have to be seduction and seduction but if you if a woman carries a spirit of seduction then she's going to attract the spirit of lust in a man if that man operates in a spirit of seduction, okay, he can operate in a spirit of seduction too. Men, they try to dress super sex sexual, right? Super sexy as a man. And a woman carrying a spirit of lust, she's going to be attracted to that sort of thing. A godly woman who's cleansed, who's clean and purified, she's not going to want nothing like that in her life because she already knows what spirits are operating in that man, no matter what he looks like, right? You see how they made like tattoos and all this thing. They try to make all that stuff super sexy even. It's all demonic. Actually, tattooing and all that stuff is a form of satanic ritual, right? And the reason is because it involves blood. It's a spilling a spilling of blood. People don't want to admit that. There's a couple of false prophets out here, and both of them got dreadlocks, and both of them out here trying to teach that, that that's not what the Bible means when it talks about marking your body and all these things. They're stupid and ignorant, right? They're stupid and ignorant. Allowing people to think that that's what you can do, right? It, it's, it, it's, it's, you're spilling your blood. It is a form of a sacrifice, right? That goes forth to these kingdoms. And they make it, they've taken that and they've made it seem so like sexually attractive in the world, okay? And a lot of you females, like, you got to be careful. If you're attracted to that kind of thing and like that's something that attracts you to a person who even is, who is a male who says he's a Christian, okay? I'm not saying he's not truly born again because he got tattoos prior, Right? I'm not saying that, but I'm saying if you're attracted to this man because he got tattoos, something ain't right with you on the inside. Okay, you Women, you should never be attracted to a man because of what he drives, because of what he has, because of what he, he looks like. Okay, Now, I get it. 
God's not going to put us with a spouse who we can't be attracted to and have a desire for in life. Like he's, 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 he's not going to do that. So I'm not talking about not having a, a, an attraction to them, right, as a physical person. I'm saying if you're drawn to them because of these worldly things, it's wrong. Men, if you're drawn to these women because of the, the figures of their body and the way that they, you know, dress and that they put themselves out there, their cleavage out there or, you know, whatever, then something's wrong with you, right? I mean, everything that you, everything that should be looked at when it comes to that type of joining together has to first be looked at spiritual before anything, okay? So, uh, the model of woman's underwear and sexy clothing to seduce and distract men, uh, and lure, you know, lure them into lust, and really what it does is it just keeps, it just keeps both sides, men and women, in a form of bondage to the kingdom of darkness, okay? This kingdom is ruled um, by its main virtues, right? Main purposes of vanity through fashions, money, lust, and worldly pleasures. And many of these things are run by the queen of the coast herself. Remember I told you the queen of coast is off the bottom coast of our country, the U.S., where that Bermuda Triangle, that's where you see most of those storms. You see all that stuff come from. That is the most activity that you see out of any of the uh, 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 kingdoms in, within the domain. Okay, Within the domain of the marine kingdom, you see the most activity come out of that area in that region. You see that through, through storms and through all of that stuff. Okay, And so these things are controlled. If you notice, almost all fashions... Okay, almost all fashions come forth and go around the world, but they start in the regions of our country. They start in the areas of Miami, they start in the areas of LA, they start in the areas of New York, and they start in the areas of Chicago for all. Okay, now I know that a lot of the brands and the high end fashion brands come from other countries, but it was because those things end up being purchased and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, you know, from those areas. The biggest consumers to all of that stuff is right here in this country. Okay. All right, so let me, uh, yeah, I, I see what you're saying about those. Yeah, that last comment. Okay, so I'm going to give a couple scriptures here, and then we'll talk about a few more other things, a few more other products, okay? So 1 Timothy 2.9 says, In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Again, I'm not saying this as a rebuke to any of you. If the Lord brings it as a rebuke and you need to change some stuff, then go ahead and do that. That's, you know what I mean? That's between you and the Lord. But if that's the case, you need to, you know, let the Lord bring that rebuke to you and just make those changes, okay? But that, I'm not I'm not bringing this scripture about women specifically because I'm I'm just pertaining it to the marine kingdom, okay? In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. So when I see some of these leaders that are females and doing all of this stuff. They're already they're owned by the Marine Kingdom. Okay, they're not doing it just because they have some money to do it. People can have money and 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 be like, you know, why? What's the point in all of that? Okay, so they're doing it because there's a spirit on the inside of them that is drawn to that. They're connected some way to this kingdom. That's why they spend their money there. That money goes back to that kingdom. You remember what I just said? These companies that's tied to the cosmo to the cosmic realms. Remember what I said? When we get off here, look it up. Look it up. The ones that use the logo, the, the logo to Saturn. You can look it up yourself. All of these companies. And what happens? They pay the people in this world to manufacture all those things. And then you go and you get a paycheck. Then you spend all that money right back on all those items to buy it right back from them. You get what I'm saying? This is the same way with the Marine Kingdom. These things are made. People then go and spend all their money on these things. They do it because there's an attachment there. There is a there's a covenant a contract a covenant that's made through these products because that money that belongs to god because you're a christian belongs to god but you sewing it back into the marine kingdom hello okay they're sewing it back into the marine kingdom 
So when I see these people like Real Talk Kim, you completely deck that that I man, if y'all don't understand, if if don't if you can't see in the spirit and see that she's still a witch, and any of these people, look, any of you that see my video that is in leadership that disagree, I'll go live with any one of you and let me lead you through repentance for the demons and the realms that I know you're connected to, and we'll watch where demons manifest publicly on a live platform. Until then, just you you can just stay off my stuff because you miss me with all that. But if you want to go live publicly in front of the entire world, I'm down to do that with any one of you. But that woman is still a witch, and any woman and female that connects to her in ministry or man, demons of the same feather flock together. There's a there's a thing out right now that her and like 12 other people are on right now and they're about to have something together. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? These people are connected to all of these different kingdoms of darkness in some way, shape, or form. In some way, shape, or form. Okay. All of them. You should be able to look at these people, and you should be able to you should be able to see through the outward appearance, and you should be able to see what's underneath there. When you look at some of these people, you should be able to tell with without any of that stuff. These people do not look this way on the outside, or do not do these things on the outside. If these things were not on the inside of them, people don't just do that. You got people in ministry right now that got all kinds of different colored red hair. You got people that's wrote 15 books of a prophetic ministry and she got a nose ring in her nose and she's a pastor of a church. Hey, uh, listen, he's called many women to be prophetess. He's called many women to raise their voice up. Their voice will be raised up above many men, many men on this earth. OK, and, and in, with all due respect, many of you females would do a much better job running churches than most of these men that are out here. That's truth. All I'm saying is, according to God's order, he didn't create a woman to be a pastor of a church. He didn't create a female to be the, a shepherding of any of the flock. That's all I'm saying. He's called y'all to all kinds of different mantles, all kinds of different callings that are higher and greater than being a pastor. Do you get what I'm saying? Some of you are called to things higher and greater than that. Any female that's trying to pastor any type of church and have leadership over men is a Jezebel. Period. Period. Okay, so I can't remember if I put this down here or not. So I'm going to put it one more time. Oh, yeah, I did. I just didn't hit enter. My bad. Uh and I'm telling you, I, I already know that these people are, you guys, you, you see the video, you see us watching this video. And then if you go back and you look at the videos, look how many views been on there. Okay. And I'm, I'm not saying this because of me. I'm just saying that there is a network of specific people that the Lord has already sent me. I've already been on all their different platforms and different stuff and speaking different things. Right. I, I've been involved with certain stuff that pertain to some of them uh, individually and specifically. So all I'm telling you is they already know how I am and what I say and the things that I talk about. So when these things start coming forth, they, they see me on other platforms posting these different things. They, they come to find out what's being said, right? They come to find out what's being said because I'll put a video out. I'll say something about somebody. And then next week, that next week, the person who gets the conviction of the Lord, they'll make a post about something. They don't want to say nothing directly to me, but they'll make a post about something or they'll be in their church whining and crying from a platform saying somebody said this specific thing about them. So like they already know. So I don't want any of you to think that I'm saying something that I or talking about something that I wouldn't ever say publicly or address publicly to be publicly because uh, that's that's just not the case. So Genesis 24, 64 to 65. OK, and Rebecca lifted up her eyes and she saw Isaac and she dismounted from the camel for she said to the servant, what man is this that walks in the field to meet us? And the servant said, it is my master. Therefore, she took a veil and covered herself. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm putting these out here pertaining to the clothing, right? Because we're talking about the, 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 the clothing and, the, and that sort of thing.
She said, just get in here. Must be on that Chattanooga time. All right. So uh, Ezekiel 13, 18, it says, and tell them what the sovereign Lord is saying to them. You women are doomed. You sew magic wristbands. Okay, I want you to I want you to uh, pick up the term magic in this. Okay, you sew magic wristbands for everyone, and make magic scarves for everyone to wear on their heads, so that they can have power over other people's lives. I got a hair or something. What's going on here? Lord help me. I'm gonna read that again just because I want you to catch this. I want you to catch the revelation in scripture between the kingdom of darkness and clothing in general, okay? And, and the stuff that he's talking about, this isn't stuff that they made that was skimpy and revealing or nothing, okay? This is just something that was made, but listen to, listen to the words, okay? It says, and tell them what the sovereign Lord is saying to them. You women are doomed. You sew magic wristbands, okay? Magic, witchcraft, right? Another form of power and spirits. You sew magic wristbands for everyone and make magic scarves for everyone to wear on their heads. Catch this. So that they can have power over other people's lives. You want to possess the power of life and death over my people and to use it for your own benefit. If that doesn't tell you right there, this same concept, this same scripture pertains to all of these forms of the, the skimpy and seductive clothing, to all of the vain stuff, right? You know, $2,500 for a t-shirt, okay? And tell them what the sovereign Lord is saying to them. You women are doomed. You sew magic wristbands for everyone and make magic scarves for everyone to wear on their heads so that they can have power over other people's lives. You want to possess the power of life and death over my people to use it for your own benefit. You know what the magic wristbands is and the magic scarves is when you're wearing something that represents it and it's got Gucci on it or it's got Louis Vuitton or you got to carry the Louis Vuitton bag. It's, it performs a magic. It performs a spell that goes out when these products are created. And then the next person carries it. The next person carries it. The next, then what happens? Everybody has a desire. It stirs up a desire in the, in the spirit realm, which then goes forth to your spirit man in the spirit realm, right? Because you see something in the natural realm that you have a desire for. So like I said before, the soul operates as a doorway, as a gateway between the spirit man and between the natural world, the natural realm. And, and all three of those have to be lined up and in one accord in order to work with some kind of power. So if these witches and warlocks work with darkness, it's because their body, their soul and their spirit all gets in alignment together with whatever kind of witchcraft or whatever it is that they're doing or the, the powers of darkness are having them do. Same way with God. Everything about you, all three parts of who you are have to be lined up. They all have to be on one accord so that you can be on one accord with God and whatever he has for you to do, whatever assignments, whatever mantles, whatever it is that he got for you to do, okay? All three parts of you have to be on one accord. So you can't be like, oh, I read my, I, I do this, this, and this, and the spirit, and I pray in tongues, and then I read my Bible on Sunday, and I do all this other stuff. But then you still, in the natural realm, you still got desires over this, and this, and this, and these other things. You're still tied to these other domains. So you have to get, you have to get, you have to get freedom from all of that stuff, right? So that way, all three parts of you can be lined up and on one accord. Okay? Most feminine clothing design right, through the latest fashion brands are designed out of the Marine Kingdom. They're designed and they're birthed out of the Marine Kingdom. I'm not talking about all ladies fashion, okay? Let me uh, finish. For the purpose of inducing lust and immorality, okay, through, mer uh, through uh, marital even discords and sexual uh, perversions, okay? These clothings are de designed to reveal the woman's breast, cleavage, private parts, and bodily shape and figure, okay? So I know many of you, many of you know this, especially when it comes to um, 
and I even I even tried to look up some of this stuff, but then I realized like you guys weren't going to see my screen, so I was like, why if I had pictures, like they're not going to see it. And I thought, well, I could post them in the comments maybe. Um, but uh, um, the so so the dresses that a lot of these famous people wear to a lot of these war shows and different things, right? They they will look like they're simply just made of certain sequins or certain types of designs. I mean, some of them. There's this one picture that had all kinds of all kinds of people in it. And I wasn't going to, uh, for a moment, I thought about doing it, right? But then I'm like, man, I don't want to bring no no dudes, no guys on here into any type of lustful place. Because some of these things that they wear, like, is barely any type of material, for one. So we already know that that's not of God, period. It comes from the kingdom of darkness. But some of these that they even wear, even actually cover a lot of the bodies. But everything still always has to be super form-fitting, okay? And the real point I'm trying to get here is that on a lot of these dresses they're designed by these brands okay there is symbolism that are that is hidden in with within all of these different sequences and different designs whether it's lines going places or whatever it is there's there's demonic designs and such that are within these uh dresses okay and these things can pertain to all kinds of different stuff whether it's faces of serpents and all kinds of different stuff right and i i mentioned briefly before there was a guy that uh I used to watch probably like four years ago that was on YouTube, but they started like destroying his channels and taking a bunch of stuff down because he could see this stuff in the spirit. And he would take these designs and he like some of them, like the Lord would just show them and he would trace them out. You know, you could see he would trace the lines of where everything was and he would basically just make the lines and connect everything. The Lord would allow him to see it in the spirit and he would make the lines to these things and even uh, and um you could you could see what was what was actually taking place on these uh, on these dresses and stuff, right? And I think I mentioned to you guys before, if you um, if you look online, you will see that you know the one company that got exposed recently for the the child stuff, right? And I'm letting you know right now that that happened because of certain people within the kingdom of God and the work that they did in the realm of the spirit, okay. Remember, if I talked, to, I talked to you earlier. If you call the territorial stuff, you really want to fight against these things. You believe God's called you to certain stuff. Um, you really need to seek Him on a lot of things. He'll give you assignments. He'll give you a mission. He'll just different stuff. But you'll be, you will war, um, you will war in the heavenlies. Okay, you will war in the realm of the spirit. Certain things that the Lord will have you do. Okay, and it will bring destruction. It will bring exposure. Right. The, the powers that once protected some of these companies that won't be able to withstand anymore, okay? And so, but my point is that that one company, that that apparel company, once it, it got exposed, right? What many of you don't understand is like, is that the same, the same parent company that owns them, okay? The same parent company, there's one guy that owns this parent company that owns like eight different brands, Okay, this same parent company owns Gucci, it owns Saint Laurent, okay, it owns Louis Vuitton, it owns Balenciaga, okay, it it's owned by all of these, and and I think I talked about this maybe like four weeks ago, five weeks ago, maybe in some other kind of video it got brought up, but this same uh, guy they had a website and they had all kinds of different stuff like stuff you could put in your house and just different all kinds of stuff it wasn't for clothing or apparel um in that manner it was just all kinds of different stuff like some art and different stuff right but they were selling statues of these children that were like life life statues of you know like a six seven eight year old okay and the uh on all of them on the boys and the girls their noses were protruded long like a sexual toy and their mouths were open like another form of a sexual toy but these were children they were like life life type statues that people would just like buy and put into their house this is the same guy that owns this company he's the the parent company owner to all of these other brands now sure they all have their own people that work in them right you all have people that there's people that own stocks and certain stuff but we're not talking about that we're talking about the parent company the guy who owns all of these okay all of these brands are all connected to to these kingdoms of darkness all right so um, a couple last things and then we'll we'll do some some questions okay um, so also there's and I don't want to get too too much into this because there's many things that have to do with like 
M MK Ultra tr triggering um, ritualistic type things that have to do with even sporting events from like World Series, Super Bowls, right? That have to do with certain color schemes, the way they do things. All of it is as programming, and it lets the it lets the, basically the kingdom of darkness, everyone who operates in the kingdom of darkness, right? All of these people, it. It lets them know the turning of a page. It lets them know going to the next chapter, chapter, the next program, whatever it may be, okay? But the initiation colors, I brought this up because through clothing, okay, there are colors that, that are initiations with the queen of the coast. So, and you can see people, these initiation colors are usually all red or all white when it comes to the marine kingdom and the and initiations. So if there's people that are in certain types of secret societies and that types of things, you will find that they wear these things when they go through the initiation process. The enemy going crazy out there. So, um, so the the red and the white are uh, initiation colors for this specific uh, queen of the coast. Okay, and you you can see this even in some people who are in leadership positions. And certain types of even like a denomination, there's a dom denomination that wears all white. The clergy wears all white. Okay. And you will also, some of you may know too about the all red shoes, what the, what that actually represents, right? In this in this in the kingdom of darkness for uh the sacrificing. Okay. All clothes uh contracted or manufactured through the kingdom of darkness. Uh, it, car it carries uh, it carries demonic origins, okay. Um, and like something got brought up last weekend or the weekend before. Yeah. Yeah, that land that you mentioned, that's the one I'm talking about about the castle who has the castle. That is a that that place where all the kids go that's actually a, a representation that entire castle that whole setup is a setup that is the uh, is a is a uh, a model of the the kingdom the castle that the queen of the coast lives in off in the bermuda like what i was telling you about that's why it's that's why it's there it was built it was built off of the the knowledge of that that kingdom okay um, so we also know like uh, Starbucks coffee. This is the last thing I was going to bring up. Okay. You guys know that uh, you guys mentioned that last time, right? And that is the queen of the coast, the image that's on their logo. That's the queen of the coast. Okay. So queen of the coast isn't just one representation of the land, right? In, in Florida that all the kids go to or the one in California where the kids go to. Okay. Yeah. That's why they, they put the term red bottoms um in music and they do all that stuff a lot of times these people don't even know I, I shouldn't say a lot of times but there's times a lot of these people like they'll get revelation right revelation that comes from music they'll make music and it'll come through some kind of revelation but it's demonic spirits and demonic powers the same ideas for movies all of these different t things all of these like um what do i want to say fairy tale and sci-fi type stuff and all this different stuff that takes place right it all comes from uh demonic revelations people have dreams and visions of all this stuff and it's all demonic things that actually come from the spirit realm so in jesus name praise god so that's the uh that's the end of that for now so um if you guys have any other questions, if you guys put any questions in the comments, uh, if you've never been on my live before, I mean, I don't really read too many of the comments as we're going along, so I don't see a lot of that. Um, so if you guys have any questions, you guys can post those now, and we'll go over those. Um, any concerns, anything you want to ask me questions about, you can do that. Um, if you have anything privately that you're dealing with going on in life, um, you can inbox me, inbox me those questions, but on everything. Yeah, they, they do own everything. Um, you know, the, uh, you know, many of you know, the last name is, that is a, a particular bloodline, right? It starts with Roth. Um, 
but they're just their their family in general there is trillion trillion dollar company like you see all these other famous people even like elon getting put on like forbes and being billionaires and it's it, it doesn't even scratch the surface to these people they they own all of the banks they own all the news medias they own all the food companies they own all of these okay and they're all owned by a few high high uh uh parent companies okay then underneath the parent companies you have a few other companies and then I, i'm telling you i've never heard this much activity like it does happen because it's getting warmer out but not like this right and left and right they're going i'm telling you where the lord told me to get this this specific location is at the first light on the north gate coming into this region right so and there's somebody who was on here they're not on here anymore but uh i i, I took a bunch of pictures and saved a bunch of stuff like a couple of weeks back when some storms was going through a lot of your guys area but uh some powerful stuff was happening in the realm of the spirit and it wasn't just about simply about like my city it was really just happening in general the lord was revealing a bunch of stuff and and i I, I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to talk about all of it right now. If, if I release it, I'll put the pictures out there because I took pictures of I took pictures of what was going on. And somebody I was in a, I was on the phone with somebody else uh, in warfare. So and I sent them the stuff in real time. So they they know what was happening, too. Um, but uh, my point was about the, the companies. Right. So they. They own I, I wish I could say the, the main name of one of the companies like I they use artificial intelligence to scan all of our posts to scan all of the videos all of that stuff and so because this is about a particular kingdom i would hate for this whole video just to get gypped based off me saying one name okay there'll be another time like if I, maybe if i come out and do like a five or ten minute video and just say all say particular name okay um I, you know I, I don't have a problem doing something like that but i don't want a whole entire teaching to get ruined that's why sometimes i don't say the stuff um you know, out loud because they use the artificial intelligence and it skims through the video at a super high rate and it and it picks up all the words and everything that was spoken. So same type of stuff that happens when you see YouTubes and they put the words at the bottom. OK, they use the same type of intelligence, but it skim, skims the videos at a super fast rate and it, and it picks up all the words. But anyway, my point is, is that if you look at anything, you will see in another country, just like within the past 30 days. OK, that remember the name of the of ones I was just telling you that own all of the banks and all the food chains, all the media companies, right? Well, they own a particular company that starts with the word black and they, in another country, people, a bunch of people rallied together and protested and they literally broke into this main headquarters that is in that country, right? Because of all of this stuff, because of everything that is going on, they're manipulating stuff in their countries too. So it's not just in our country. It's just, it's stuff that's happening over there too. And they went, they went to this building because they know and understand that these people own all of the food supply, right? They own all of these food companies. They own all of the banks, okay? They own all of the news media. They own all of this stuff, right? Like I said, they pay people to make all of the products. Then you turn around and give the money back to them by buying all the stuff right back from them, okay? They're highly influential and in all, they own the governments. They own all of this stuff. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, they are they are masons for sure. Yeah, they keep saying it's built on yeah Christian principles. It's not. None of the countries are built on Christian principles, unfortunately, and and that's not even biblical. Like we ourselves, we can go and like we can start a company or a business, and it can be built on Christian principles, right? We the foundation of it can be pure. We can get property and land. We can pray over it, right? The Lord will purify that land uh, given to us, okay? And we can we can have things in this world that are uh, purified in that manner. But the, the all of these countries in general, the the foundations and origins and all, of all of them at this point in time of where we are in life, um, yeah, they're all they're all owned by the enemy unfortunately so so let me scroll back a little bit and see if not the problem. 
pray without him telling me. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, she's, Chris is saying the Lord has taught her not to pray for healing or deliverance without uh, the Lord telling her exactly what to do. And uh, that is that is absolutely true. Um, that's a absolutely true. Because you can get yourself caught up in something that the Lord didn't actually... Um, the Lord didn't actually have you do. All right. Um, that's the thing about what's being taught too about healing and deliverance and that sort of thing, because it's being taught in a way like you can just you can sign up and go. You can sign up and do like an e course, right? Or um, I'm just laughing about what's happening out there. Praise God, though. It's funny. It's funny to me. Um, my uh, my my point was a lot of what's being what's being taught. Um, you know, like you can just go on an e course, you can get a book, and you can do all this other stuff. And the reality of it is, you got a bunch of people that's never been delivered out here trying to do deliverance. You got a bunch of people on platforms talking about spiritual stuff that never even been delivered themselves. You got people operating as ex witches and ex warlocks that never even been through deliverance themselves. Never, never been through deliverance. So you're telling me all these regular people in the world. So some Nancy that was practicing witchcraft for five years got to go through all this deliverance to get demons casted out of her. But all of a sudden, some random person is still talking about that as an ex witch and never went through any deliverance, but doing the Lord's work. It's deception, y'all. It's, it's it's a high level of deception. It's exactly what it is. So, this is, that's wild. Right, she said, going off. You, oh, you, I know you guys hear it been hearing it the whole time. What do I learn about this kingdom of time? Past teaching you a video. Uh yeah, the so this video and the two uh previous videos on my page on my Facebook. Um all three of those videos are about uh the kingdom, the domains of darkness. So the first one was about uh, the two kingdoms that are in the cosmic, which is in the seventh or seven, second heaven. And uh, then the video that I did last Saturday was about uh, the Pestifer kingdom, which pertains to the earth, right? The trees, the forest, the mountains, the desert, that sort of thing. And then uh, I also included in that was the Cro-Magnon kingdom, which is under the earth, which is where hell resides in that kingdom also has to do with like the cemetery, right? Even though the cemetery is on the earth, cemetery is really a representation of under the earth, right? Because it's a representation of death. So, so, so yeah. So Julie, you can find those three uh, teachings on here. They'll be on YouTube at some point. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make some some different reels and just break them all down. I have a lot of hours of teaching since even last year. So at some point in time, whenever the Lord just tells me to do it, until then, I'm just going to keep doing what he's telling me to do uh, with this. I have a lot more revelation. So these all these teachings had to do with the domains of darkness. So he's, he still hasn't told me what he's going to have me do like next Saturday. But I, I assure you, it's going to be something revelatory. It's going to be something that you nobody you won't want to miss going forward, going forward. Um, and then at some point in time uh you know all these videos they'll get they'll get broken down into smaller ones put on uh probably youtube and then of course the full length video will also be on there as well but um they can keep their riches amen yeah there's 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 nothing uh wrong with having uh, money and he gives us the wisdom to generate wealth and that sort of thing but um the thing about all of that is that uh, you really need to, you know, each person really needs to die to the things of this world. 
and that that includes the desire for wealth and and all of those things right your heart needs to be crucified to those things and the reason is because after that then the lord can bestow those things upon you uh why because then they won't control you once you've been crucified to those things and and the lord removes the desire for those things out of your life okay then when he gives them back to you they they don't have control over you so you know if tomorrow he dropped a random hundred thousand in each of your hands praise god right he dropped a hundred thousand in each one of your hands what would the first thing that you do would you start processing all the things that you could buy right would you you know want to go out and buy a new car or do whatever or would you actually go before god and say lord what is it that you want me to do with your money you get what i'm saying so there's a difference once your heart has been crucified to the things of this world you start to look at everything differently so i mean he may have blessed you with that because he wants you to give half of it to something else or somebody else specifically like who who knows if it's his right so my point is just that you know we have to die to all the things of this world and then he will bestow upon us um, his riches right so there was times you know like you know those times when my my bank account said one thing i could have done whatever but the lord was like no you're not even gonna do anything like that Let's see. Let me scroll back. Amen. Amen to that. You have the redeemed of the Lord, the remnant. Amen. Yes, she said, who is this? I don't know who you're talking about. Who am I? She said, who is this question mark? Are you still on here? I don't know really what you're saying. Or was I talking about something or somebody maybe and you didn't know what I was pertaining to? So, let's see. Oh, she said, I understand. Amen, it's kind of scrolling fast. Yeah, the desires, uh, the desires could come back. Um, I think you're talking about uh, pertaining to finances and that sort of thing, pertaining to money. Yeah, sure. Yeah, any desire could come back if we, if we choose to open up the door to that. But yeah, anything could come back. Like like what I mentioned before, a Christian can have whatever they want from the spirit realm. Like if you if you choose the things of this world which belong to the enemy. Okay, Satan is the god of this world. So, when our our desires are to choose the things of this world, then in the realm of the spirit, like we're connecting to the kingdom of darkness. Does that make sense? And I, I think most of you are well equipped biblically enough to understand that from uh, scripture wise. So, a de desire for anything um, could come back, but let's see. You have created me a clean heart and renew a bright spirit within me. Praise God. You've been confirming this so much the Holy Spirit has shown me. Praise the Lord. That's really just that's really just the spirit of God. You know? The Lord will show you something and then he brings me to speak about it to confirm it, you know? Does that in any other situations with other people? When it's when it's really God and it's really led by his spirit, it'll it'll confirm what it's supposed to confirm. I guess as long as we're, you know, as long as people are hearing from the right voice, because there are a lot of people who are under, uh, you know, witchcraft type delusion from a lot of these groups and things that they participate in. And that that charismatic witchcraft goes out to these people and it brings deception upon them. So those people end up hearing from another spirit, right? They end up hearing from another spirit. So that spirit that's in them is the same spirit that the person in the leadership has. And so they think, oh, yeah, I'm getting confirmation about something. When really, you're just getting demonic. There's just so much demonic activity there. You think you're getting confirmation from the Lord, but you're not. Not you specifically, but I'm just talking about people that's involved in a lot of these other ministries that they just think are of God, but they're they're not. So, Four o'clock. 
for our sins. Amen. We were born for such a time as this. Yeah, it's it's. She said, I need nothing. God has provided for my family. We are not without, but we live comfortable, modestly, and blessed. Amen to that. Yeah, it's a it's a different kind of feeling when God, you know, when God takes that away from you, when God takes the desires of this world away from you. It's it's a different kind of feeling to actually let go of that, you know, or to be stripped from that, you know, whatever whatever the Lord has to do to get you to the place he wants you to. Some people have to be stripped from it. Some people can willingly give up things, right? But it sometimes doesn't feel like a, you know, a good process. But when when you, sometimes it's like the Lord really has to get people to go without and strip them from these things for them to realize that it's okay. You know what I mean? To realize like just having God, as long as you have him and you have that relationship between you and him, that that's, that's, that's what he's seeking after. And so that's what it means to really like seek him first, seek him first above all things. So he has to strip people people are going the enemy's going wild out there um he has to strip you you know and he has to strip people of these things all right so they have nothing else to turn to except for him and <clears throat> i was doing a teaching one time and it was like you could tell everybody just want to be blessed they just wanted a word from the lord that just blessed them and that was like <laughs> i was i'm like I'm like, Lord, take away every single dollar that didn't come, that didn't come from you. Empty out every bank account of, of where you didn't put money in. Take away everything that these people are using for crutches and they're holding up and that are relying on before they rely on you, you know? Because it's easy to trust the Lord if you got millions in the in the bank, easily to trust the Lord. You get what I'm saying? If you got millions in the bank. So people have this, you know. There's all this stuff that people have and go after and chase after in the world. You you notice how people have tons of joy when they're when they feel like they're fulfilling a career, right? Or doing something of that nature, but let all that be stripped from them. Let all that be stripped of them. Then then who are you? What kind of person are you? You know? I said this before in one of my teachings about um about men in general and like women, you know, um wanting a kingdom husband and 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 that sort of thing and um, if you take a lot of these men who are even Christians or in the world, uh, irregardless, uh, and you strip away from them their their position in the church, you'll realize that they're nothing. Strip away their career, right? Their title of whatever it is they do, they're nothing. Strip away their money, they're nothing. Strip away their portfolios, they're nothing. When you and you you strip these things away from these these people, you find out that they're they're really not. Uh, they really don't live for God. They're really not sold out to God. Why are they become nothing? Because their identity was found in all of those things. Your identity is found in all of those things and not in Christ alone. You get what I'm saying? And and a lot of women, if you if you look for a man and you and you look at what he can pay for in the natural, and that's your reasoning, you know, for being with him instead of how he can lead you in the spiritual or how you two even connect uh you know mantle to mantle and assignment to assignment and that sort of thing um really you're operating with the spirit of a prostitute okay you're not out selling your body on the street corner but you're willing to go with whatever man who professes to be christian and and whatever and, and has some money and can buy you some things you know and it's, it's all deception and especially if you you get with this man and the, and he's not sold out to God, and God knows that his heart's sold on money, right? He worships at the altar of mammon, and maybe God has a certain plan for his life, and God's got to strip that man of all that money. God's got to bring that man down so low, okay, that not only will he take away his jobs and whatever he has and burn up and dry up all of the finances in some way, shape, or form, he will cause it to where that man can go out and apply for 100 jobs and not one place will call that man back. He'll bring that man so low to the point where that man will never find his identity or never find any hope in money ever again. And if you married him for money, where do you think you're going to go after that? How do you think you're going to feel about all of that when it comes down to it? 
right? You're going to lose all the stuff that you have. You, you married him for money, so now you're going to lose all the great things that you had, all these different types of luxuries or whatever the case may be, right? So I'm telling you, when he brings a man low, uh, I, I'm, I'm telling you, he will bring a man low. To, he, will, he has to strip that person's soul from all of the things of this world. If, if, you, if you're male or female and God has, and you're chosen, and especially if you were sent here, like he sent you here with, an, with assignments and you're supposed to carry a mantle, he will destroy your life and wreak havoc on your life to bring you low to where you have nothing but him to have hope in. Then, then he will start to build you back up, okay? Um, she said, do the people in the church that are witches know that they are witches or unknowingly operating in it? What about church leaders? Um, I would say for the most part, they don't know, right? They don't know. But here's the thing. I, I, I'm not the only person talking about this, right? So it's like any of the people that I would bring up or that I have brought up on my, you know, my pages or anything that I've talked about, there's been more than just me who has said something to these people. And the reality of it is, is they're at a place of deception where they, they don't, they don't hear the rebuke. They, they think you're the, they think you're the enemy, right? They think, oh, you coming in the spirit of religion and blah, blah, blah. No, it's not about the spirit of religion trying to stop supernatural and spiritual things happening. It's people coming and saying, hey, you're operating from another spirit, and we know that. Right? You're operating in another spirit, and we know that. So, And it's also easy to say, well, we should just pray for, pray for them. Okay? If they're, oper they're doing it unknowingly, let's just pray for them. Okay? And I'm not saying that you said that or anybody on here said that, but let me ask you this. So if they're unknowingly operating in it, let me ask you, what are you going to pray? People say, well, we'll just we'll just pray for the leaders and we'll just pray for what are you gonna pray? Somebody tell me right now what the Lord is telling you to pray for these people. I I, I wanna know. People say that all the time. I'm not, and again, nobody on here has said that. I'm just giving this as a as a question to all of you. We're supposed to pray for these people that we know are that uh have hidden witches and warlocks, they're operating out of other spirits. Tell me what you're supposed to pray for them. Pray for them. What are you supposed to pray? Okay. I'm not saying that there's absolutely nothing, but I'm telling you right now, these people that are within the body of Christ, the spirits that they are operating in, the, 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 the covering and the protection that's there from the kingdom of darkness doesn't just come from some little piddly demon. Okay, those demonic spirits operate through the person because that's how that's how it works. No, no angel, no principality. Right. The queen of the coast herself doesn't come and operate through a human being. Never in scripture do we see an angel inhabit a human being. We see them shape shift and the ability to turn into humans. We see that through scripture that says that you can entertain angels unaware. The only way you're going to do that is if a person looks like a human. Okay? So we know that they can turn into humans and have the appearance of human and take human form. But nowhere in Scripture do they actually come and possess an actual human vessel. It is by the Spirit. The Spirit. Okay? So there's demons and there's things like that that these people operate out of. But their, their power, right, or what appears to be power, really just comes from the kingdom of darkness. So a lot of them don't know. But I think you know you would know as well as I do. Anytime you try to bring anything or say anything to these people, they don't care. They don't want to hear anything that you have to say, right? Most of them will block you. It's way it's so much pride. And because here's the thing: when you tell people that it's not biblical to have a prophetic school or to sell prophetic ebooks or e courses. Where any Joe Blow can sign up on your website, go through your schools and e-courses, and end up now being classified or ordained by man as a prophet or an apostle because they went through your stuff and your courses. But you didn't verify none of these people with God. You don't care about verifying any of them. You care about them signing up and paying you and giving you money. 
because you're after the gold and silver to build your own kingdoms. That's scripture. Look that up. They seek the gold and the silver to expand their own pillars. And that's what it's talking about, to expand their own pillars, their own kingdoms, their own life, their own lifestyles. Okay? That's why they seek the gold and the silver, the riches. Back then it was gold and silver they operated with. Now we know that it's a financial a currency. Okay? They're not, they, when they do that, in order for them to, for God to truly bestow repentance or uh, uh, forgiveness on them, they have to repent. You can't just go in a prayer closet and repent for something like that. You have to publicly repent. Why? Because you've led other people into deception. You carry a spirit of deception along with the spirit of simony, which is selling the prophetic, right? Selling a title, any of those things, right? They are selling these things and, there's, and, and anybody can have it. Anybody can have them. These people are the Jezebels, the Bellas, the Balls of our time, and all of these people out here are their false prophets. That same spirit of deception goes out into these same people, and then those people start operating with that spirit of deception inside of them. They start operating as deceivers too, unknowingly, just thinking that that's what the, that's what the prophetic is. That's what the kingdom of God is supposed to do. It's all lies. It's all lies and deception. Anybody ain't God ain't told nobody to have a prophetic school, right? God ain't had a, nobody to have no kind of prophetic school. When we see Elijah having those people, those people were already ordained by God to be prophets. Okay? And a school doesn't mean a school where you give people titles. That's not what the school means. It means a collective body of, like a school of fish. Like a school of fish, a collective body of. These people have taken it and turned it into a bonnet for monetary purposes. Everything that they do. Okay. I'm telling you, you watch. You watch. Watch what the Elijahs do to these witches and all these false prophets. Okay. And I'm not talking about a generation like you see my post before. There's no such thing as a generation of David's, a generation of Elijah's. Okay. You see all these people, Elijah this, Elijah podcast, Elijah this, Elijah that. None of these people operate in fire in public. They're not, nothing comes from the spirit realm into the natural and presents itself as fire and brings destruction to anything. Yet everybody has taken all of these mantles and just made it for some kind of show. They made it some kind of show, something to talk about, something to make you all feel good. If I said, oh, God's raising up a generation of Davids and everybody on here claps. And now all of a sudden you, the spirit of deception has came upon you to cause you to think that you probably carry this, the mantle of David. The mantle of Elijah. That's not true. That's charismatic witchcraft. Every single one of these people standing on platforms, every single one of these people calling themselves prophets and apostles. They got these schools. Uh, demon slayers, you making your stupid movies and everything else. It's all about your own glory. You're taking glory that belongs to God and you're giving it to yourself. That's how I know you work for the kingdom of darkness, for one. For two, when you're working for the kingdom of darkness, you can't be working for the kingdom of God. No matter how much you think you are, you can't serve two masters. These people, in order to have any type of forgiveness from God and God to bestow any type of forgiveness upon them, they have to publicly repent for what they have done. Publicly repent on their platforms the same way that they publicly uh, showcase their ministries and everything else they do. With all of that same puffery and all that same glory and all that same vanity that they use to build up their own kingdoms, that's the same way that God is going to call them to repent publicly in front of everybody. And if you do not see them do that, they may watch the outside of that cup. After hearing these videos and, and all the rebukes and the things that's been given to them, they might start to wash the outside of their cup. They might erase some of their old content off their stuff so can't nobody call them out on it anymore. But they still the same on the inside because you never repented publicly for what you've done as a public leader. You're not going to receive the forgiveness of God. You're not ever going to be a leader to God's wheat. You're just going to be a leader to the terrors. That's it. All of these people you heap an idol worshipers onto yourself to worship you. Not to worship Jesus Christ. You know how I know this? Because if you took your name off the ministry, nobody would follow you. Nobody would follow anything that you do. If you took your name, your face, and your church name, and your ministry name off of that platform, nobody would listen to that dang thing that you say. Not on any of these people's platforms. Not on their YouTube channels. Nothing. They, they, follow, they follow those things because of that person's name or that person's face. And that's it. There's no power of God that flows through any of that. Nothing. It's all idol worship. All of it. They know they're idols. They know that they're idols. 
then once you then once you publicly repent, you're going to be required just like a thief is required because you're all thieves, because you all sell the gospel. You're all thieves. You know that you need to make money. You pay for church buildings. You need to build bigger build buildings, whatever it is that you need to do. Right. No power of God flowing in all of it. Let me tell you something. In Jesus name is not an anointing. In Jesus name is not an anointing. It's not even an authority that is bestowed upon you as a person. You're just using Jesus name. Jesus name carries its own authority. You, you, it's not because you as a person or you as a leader actually has the authority. You're just using a name that carries authority. That's it. You have no authority. You have no anointing and you're powerless. You keep doing all this fluffery online all the time to build up kingdoms and platforms and everybody's seeing it. Those who truly carry the spirit of the Lord know that you don't carry it. And you've been selling the gospel as a, a, when a thief is found, that thief is ordered to pay back, even if it takes the entire contents of his own house. And I know all of you cowards and thieves are never going to pay back a dollar that you've taken from this people. And so I know that you're not going to stand up and publicly repent and admit that you've been a liar, right? Because all those same prayers that you would go to pray to God for and ask God for forgiveness is what you would be required to lead all of these idol worshipers that have been idolizing you. You're called to lead all those people into repentance now because they followed the lies that you told. 